to another episode of Five for Five, where we give you a video that's five minutes or less that you can use to spend five minutes or more, hopefully, in God's Word. I'm Zach Foote, the Youth and Family Minister here at the Downtown Bixby Church of Christ. Uh, we hope that these videos are a blessing to you. We're glad to be able to do this with you, and, and we enjoy doing these, and, and hopefully you're following along in the power for today and the different devotionals that there are uh, for each day of the month for this quarter. Our theme being based out of uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. That's an overarching theme for the whole quarter, and it's based on the different things that we need to be thinking about, things that we need to focus on to bring positive uh, benefits into our life, because that's what, um, who, who better uh, than God to tell us uh, how to do certain things and what to do in order to have the greatest life, have the most joy than the one who um, created us. And so that's where our, um, again, overarching theme is out of Philippians, but the, the reading for today is talking about those who aren't going to be moved, talking about our unshakable kingdom and what does that look like. The Hebrews writer in, in the message for today it is talking about how we've been given and received an unshakable kingdom and so we need to come to God with reverence and awe. Um, we need to be figuring out how we can provide worship to Him and everything that we do and, and say um, that He would, God would receive glory and honor for that. And so the thought for today is talking about um, what to do each day as you plan the day out. It, it's really easy to wake up and, and to let the different events that you have going on, to let your work, uh, to let sports, whatever the case may be, just to let other things dictate how um, how your day is going to go. And the important thing for a, for a Christian, for a disciple of Christ, is to make sure that we don't let the things of this world um, take priority in how we live our lives. And so, if we're putting God first, that's going to be evident following and overflowing into everything else we do throughout the day. So we can't let my work is the most important thing and I'm going to try and give God some of my time today. If we're going to try and, and be devoted to be fully immersed and living immersed in God's word, we're going to follow God first. We're going to commit this day because this is the only day that I have. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but for this day I'm going to commit it to God. I'm going to be a follower of Christ. I'm going to reflect uh, Christ-like uh, behavior and attitude mentality uh, to the people that I come into contact with, wherever that's going to be, whether that's going to be at work, whether that's going to be at school, uh, wherever stage in your life, don't think that you are a, you know, somebody that's working, uh, an engineer, an architect, a, a doctor that happens to be a Christian. Um, it's not a compartmentalized type mentality. Whatever you do, you are a Christian who just so happens to be a doctor. You're a Christian who just happens to be uh, an, a manufacturing engineer. What, whatever you are, um, you are God's first. God gave of his best, gave his son for us, and so we give him the first fruits. And so when you plan out your day, don't get caught up in all the things that you have to do and all the things that um, are, are waiting for you, all the things that maybe you're defining your day. Plan your day based on how am I going to let everything I do today look like uh, I'm a follower of God and give him the best of, of what I have. Um, and, and part of that, as, as the, the study for today shows, for today's day, is that pursuing God is great and fantastic. But somebody who's a true follower of God is also going to turn away from evil. So we have to make sure that we're not just focusing all of our time on, okay, I'm doing a lot of good things as well, maybe to counteract some of the other things I'm not really ready to give up. And we have to realize that God calls us to turn away from those things. If you've got some things that are tied up in your life that are causing your day not to go so well, that are causing you to plan certain things and God to take a back seat, how can I wake up in the morning, focus on God, and allow that to permeate through all the decisions and the choices that I make for the rest of that day? Thanks for watching this episode of 5 for 5. We hope that you can use this as a tool as you grow closer each day, becoming more devoted, living immersed in God's Word. We hope to see you this Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Downtown Bixby Church of Christ. We also have Bible classes that start at 9 a.m. If you can't do that, you can't be with us in person. We have our services streamed live on Facebook, the Downtown Bixby Church of Christ Facebook page. We believe that this is the perfect place for imperfect people to serve a perfect 
Savior. We'd love to do that with you. Have a blessed week.